Hi there, welcome back to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this video we will going to look at the current get current selections function. So this ClickSense function helps us pick the current selection values and as you can see it has a lot of optional parameters which you can give like the record separator which is a separator to put, to put between the uh, field records. You have the tag uh, separator, which is a separator to put between the field name tag and the field value, right? So it's like equals to sign or dash or something you want to put between field name and field value. Then you have a value separator, like uh, by default is comma. The value need to be separated by comma, but if you want something else. And finally, max values, which is basically how many uh, values you want to display or you want to take in the selection or the output the default is six all right so let's see how we can implement it first let's go to data and over here we have a very simple table as you can see it has the first name initials and cell phone has cell phone field so first name these are the initials and has cell phone field has yes or no so let's load this and click close Come to analysis and over here what do we have is basically um, let's take first of all filter right and i'll take first name all right i'll add uh, one more filter to it and uh, i will take the what do you call um we have initials right apply so we have initials, we have first name. So these are the two things which are over here. Now let me take the, for the output, let me take just KPI. And here by default, I will just put get current selections and I don't need to specify anything over here. So click apply. And for this output, what do we get is the first name is John and uh, Joan and Jane and initials is JA. So let's go into the front end and see what's going on. So let me just see over here, Joan is selected and Jane is selected because JA is basically the initials which has been selected. So for now, let me just clear this. So right now there is no current selection. If I select JA, so initials is JA. If I select John, then it says first name is John and initial is JA. Similarly, if I select Jane, then first name becomes uh, John and Jane and initials is JA. So if I just select JE, it will give me the output. So it's a very straightforward function and very much useful. Let's say when you have a chart where you want to display what this chart is for based on the selection. So for example, this chart is for the salesperson Jane. So this will give the end user a lot of flexibility and uh, good experience when the person looks at the title of the chart that, yeah, this is a Jane's chart, this is a Jones chart. So those values, uh, they don't have to move their eyes to the filters like this. Within the chart itself, let's say if this is the chart, they can clearly see uh, that for John and Jane, uh, they have, the chart values are populated. So very, very useful function and uh, very handy whenever you want to get all the output from the various fields into the as part of the display uh, of your chart. So that's pretty much it I wanted to show you in this video and I'll meet you in the new video, the new topic.